Welcome back, everybody, to Icarus. I am an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to continue working on the uh, Vertigo mission. Uh, we started that in the last episode, and we we're at the point where we're going to have to venture into the Arctic, and so we're going to stop. Uh, oh, shoot. Oh, it's just the bird. <laughs> I thought the, the building was on fire. Oh, that's hilarious. Well, I mean, not for the bird. Anyway, um, yeah, so we're going to we're gonna pause here for a little bit from the mission and start building up uh, a bit of a base here so we can be better equipped to go into the Arctic. And uh, so, yeah, like I said, we are pretty much just picking up right where we left off in the last episode. I got some stuff cooking up in here, a uh, drying rack. And um, so the next step here is to make ourselves a stone um, fire pit. Uh, because, if you didn't already know this, I like to use those as a very early game uh, storage uh, storage device. Because they don't take damage from weather. And they hold a couple of rows, anyways, of, of materials. Uh, so we're going to need a hundred... Uh, I guess we already have enough stone. So we should be able to craft that. It is right here. Fire pit. Okay, let's craft that. And then um, I'm probably going to build... There's a bear out there. I'm probably going to build the shed actually this way. Um, so we won't go any further this direction, which means we'll put the fire pit just right on this side of the building, but not too terribly close to the building. Uh, so probably right about here would be good. Okay, good. And now we can use this to start storing uh, some items that we're completely full on at the moment. Oh, I guess it has three rows of storage. Even better. Even better. Okay, do I have anything else that is a full stack at the moment? don't think so. Okay, so now uh, the next step is to, uh, we got a wolf here, to expand the base. And, you know, we're not going to make anything huge or fancy, just functional. That's all we're after because this is a very temporary situation for us. Um, so that means what we're going to want to do is let's pull this back off. We're going to pick up the drying rack and the campfire and move it over to the other side. That bear's pretty darn close, but I don't actually see it. Okay, so let's just put the drying rack there. And we'll take everything out of here. Pick this up. Oh, inventory's full. Okay. Um, we can... Let's actually take and put this on here. Uh, well, actually, I guess that's what we had on there already, isn't it? Uh, so that can dry for us, and then we should be able to pick this up now. And we'll just stick this right here. Oh, crap. That's right. I forgot. We don't have a... I was looking for my rifle. I couldn't find it. It's because I don't have it. This is a mission. Whew. I was a little bit uh, nervous about using those explosives so close to us, and I think it probably did damage us. I didn't notice. I was too busy trying to dodge this guy. All right, let's get rid of you, grab you, and get the bones. All right. We probably are going to need some charcoal, so let's actually split this in half. And activate that. 
We'll just throw all this meat in there. And again, any full stacks of, of other stuff that we currently are holding on to. We don't care about spoiled plants. We'll put the fur in there. And the yeast. Okay. Uh, so now let's uh let's pick that stuff up just to move it out of the way. And we want to start building some more wooden foundations and floors and that sort of thing. We don't want a thatch beam, we want a wood beam. So alright, I'm gonna cut uh, some more wood here. And uh, I'll bring you guys back after we have a nice little supply of wood so we can continue the build out of our base. Oh, have a, an announcement to make. Um, I am going to have to once again uh, go on about a week long business trip. Uh, starting next week, I'm leaving on Tuesday and I'll be back um, the following week. And so while away, as usual, I won't be able to make any new videos or do any live stream or anything like that. But when I get back, uh, we'll pick up where we left off in this series as well as the other ones. Um, and this is the last at least week-long trip that I'm expecting to have to do until next October. So hopefully after this, we'll, we'll be back to a, a normal schedule and I'll be able to, I'll be a little more regular, you know, with uh, putting out these videos for you guys. Uh, so, just wanted to let everybody know that. Uh, but we will get this video out, of course, for you guys. Um, and then resume when I get back. Okay, guys, I've cleared uh, all of the trees around our little base here. So that way, if a windstorm comes up, it doesn't knock the tree down onto the base. Uh, got lots of wood here, more than we actually probably need. But the other purpose was, like I said, to clear the... Um, uh, the trees out of the way so they don't fall on the base. Uh, all right, so let's uh, go ahead and start off with some wood beams. How many of these can we make? Four? Yeah, we're going to need at least four, so let's make those first. And we'll put those down there. And I think there's probably enough support, well, at least in that corner where we shouldn't have to put another beam. Uh, in another corner, or in the other corner, I should say. All right, what do we need? We need fiber. We got lots of fiber in here. Let's grab a couple stacks of that and make some more beams. So we're going to need, let's see, one, two, three, four. I think we're going to need maybe five more of these. I think that's the same size of the of the base we had in the last mission. So, I mean, you know, we can always expand it too if it's not large enough. So now we're going to need two, four, five floor pieces. And we need some more wood for that. Let's grab a couple stacks. Very good. Okay. We're going to need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight wall pieces in total. But we already have 
Wait a second, hold on. Two, four, six, seven, eight. Yeah, uh, but we already have two that we can reuse, so we only need six more wall pieces. that into a window just just for funsies we look out on the water there I might even actually make a little pier out here well no I don't think I'll do that I don't think I'll do that and then we need uh, five we need five more floor pieces I'm not gonna do a slanted roof for this because again it's just very basic function over form base here. Okay, so we want five of those. There we go. Okay. So we now have our shelter made. the next thing we're going to want to do is make ourselves a workbench crafting bench and we have all the stuff we need for that let's also make an oxidizer and then I think most of the rest of the stuff we're going to want to make we're going to need the workbench for Oh, wait a minute. No, I didn't want to make an oxidizer. I want to make the uh, uh, other oxygen thingy. Can I... Yeah. No, not deploy. Destroy. Get the materials back. Okay, let's see. What's next? What is next on the list? Uh, this is what I wanted to make is an oxide dissolver. So let's grab some more wood. And oxide dissolver. After that, we'll make an herbalism bench. And going to need a textiles bench for anything at all. I don't think so, because we have our full set of workshop armor with us already. Um, here, let's deploy. Yeah, I know, I'm still getting used to the fact that I can do that. Put that right there. And then put this one right in front of the window. Good. Okay, now I'm going to start storing some things inside of here. These guys need to go. I'm going to split this stack. Put half of you in there and then all of you in there. Next I want to make a mortar and pestle, so we need four silica ore for that. Let's go grab some silica. Somewhere, I'm sure there's some around. Or actually, do I have silica stored in here? I do. Look at that. And let's grab the rest of that, too. All right, so we'll make ourselves a mortar and pestle. I'll put that down in the usual spot that I keep it in. And then we can put spoiled meat inside of here for making 
poison resistance potion later. Uh, next, I want to make a salt station. So we need fiber and 25 charcoal for that. Okay, and then I'm going to need to harvest up some stone to make a forge because I didn't bring the MXC furnace with me this time. So we'll just put, we're just going to keep lining stuff up around the perimeter of the place. Actually, though, I think I'll put this right here. Let's pick you up. And set you back down whoop, in this corner here. And then hold to set spawn point. There we go. Okay. Excellent. I want to move the yeast. All of the bones, let's grab some leather and fur and the coal. I'm gonna put the coal in here. Put the yeast in here. And we wanna make antibiotic tonic before we start going into caves. Um, so we're gonna take some of the bones that we have. Let's do two full stacks of bones. I'm gonna put the other bones in here, along with this other stuff. Uh, I think I want to also put this charcoal in here. Let's put that in there, and then the other sulfur and silica we'll put in the mortar and pestle as well. Okay, the salt can go in here. And we don't have any... Uh, no, actually, we should be able to take our cooked meat and salt it so it lasts longer. And it doesn't let us salt dried stringy meat. But it should let us salt pumpkins, right? Oh, actually, maybe it does. Hold on. Yep, we can. I guess we can salt everything, including bacon. There. That'll make that stuff last a lot longer. Salt watermelon. Actually, salt is good on watermelon. And we'll salt. Not a, oh, not enough salt. Okay, split these. There we go. That will give us some some good food action for a while. Keep that food going. Uh, let's replenish that. And we're gonna need to eat another watermelon and another pumpkin here in just a few seconds to get those buffs renewed. Okay, so next thing we need to do is gather up 80 stone. And we have everything else to make our stone furnace. And we also need uh, antibiotic tonic. Oh, yeah, we, we were going to make epoxy. That's what we were going to do. Uh, so let's grind up. Yeah, that takes two bones burned. Then we'll make epoxy out of the, that bone meal. While we're waiting for that... Um, let's go ahead and start gathering up 80 stone. Do I have any stone in here? I don't think I do. Uh-uh. Okay. Okay, there's 80 stone. I want to be careful about how much I use the workshop pickaxe. Um, because I didn't bring repair kits down here. And we, we're going to need it for some of the higher indoors. So I will make an iron pickaxe as soon as I can. And use that for the more basic stuff. Okay, let's craft our furnace there. We'll make the cooking station, probably make the carpentry bench later, and then of course we definitely will make the machining bench when the time comes. And I think that's... might make the pot belly stove too, but we can't make any of that stuff until we start mining and processing ore. But we'll just put the furnace here. And we'll load 
that up with a stack of wood. So it also makes charcoal for us when we use it. In fact, let's just go ahead and start burning it now uh, to make charcoal, uh, as this is also doing. We'll top this off. Don't think we'll be using spoiled plants, but we'll hang on to them for the moment. All right, let's do a pumpkin and a watermelon. And we have enough salt left to salt six more pieces of meat. The unsalted meat, I'm just going to put in here for it to spoil for poison stuff later. Oh, we have some corn too. Um, I guess we'll just, well, no, let's roast it. We'll roast the corn and then I'll bring some more salt back to salt it too. Until we can make a little bit better stuff. Okay, so I think mining is the next thing on the list. Well, no, actually, uh, we need to make the antibiotics first. Uh, so let's turn this into epoxy. We make 25 of those, which will be plenty. And we should have everything else for antibiotic tonic already in here, which we do. And it looks like my torch just ran out. I have another one right here. Why don't we make a new torch just so we always have one on hand, a, a spare one. And we're going to need some fiber and sticks for that. No fiber. Oh, yeah. There is fiber in there. Um, I'd like to make a couple of ramps for inside of caves, and we'll just make those out of thatch. So two of those should be, whoop, no, just two. Should be adequate. These back in here. Let's top off our O2 bottle. And we'll put a little more oxide in there and we'll also top off our canteen. You know, we are going to need some lilies too. Let's grab a few of those since they're right here. We need those for the health potions. And we'll grab up a little more plant fiber too. I'm not going to harvest the soybeans for now because I can't really do much with them. There's some carrots. to sleep here in a couple of moments. We'll stick the lilies in there. What else do we need for the health potion? Oh, we're going to need flour, so we're going to have to go pick up some flour. Also, let's grab a stack of sticks and turn those into tree sap. 
Grab the epoxy out of here. And I want to make, say, five of those for now. Okay. We'll put the rest of the epoxy back in here. I want to make a couple more suture kits, so we need bones for that. And leather. We'll have about three of those handy, ready to go. The carrots will roast up. Just gonna grab that core now because we're gonna need to free up some space in there. Let's eat another, uh, let's do a cooked bacon. It's not quite all the way full. Let's go ahead and sleep with the door open. Yeah, that's smart. <laughs> and we want to fill you up. Oh, do I have to take you out of my the slot first? Oh. I guess I have to put you all the way down here. Hold to drink. Oh. I guess I had to hold E down. Okay. My bad. We do have to remember to take that out of our inventory when we go into the Arctic, though, because it gives us the, the cooling buff, which we do not want, obviously, in the Arctic. All right, guys. I think it's time for us to go mining. We're going after iron and copper in particular. And we also need to pick up some wheat for health tonics and maybe some bread later. Uh, but let's do this. So, that leads up into the Arctic there. Uh, so we just have to find a cave. I think I'll leave that sulfur there for now. And let's go up this way. Did we find a cave up here? There's some wheat. Actually, you know what? Let's grab this wheat now. So we can have it processing into flour while we're out and about. It's not a lot here anyway. Well, maybe there's a, enough. Okay, guys, we are back at to the house here. Uh, let's turn all of this flour into, or wheat rather, into flour. And we have a few more bones. Whoops. Um... Max craft. For some reason, my brain sometimes hits the max button when I mean meant to hit the craft button. So, yeah, there's that. Okay. We'll load up that on sulfur. And I'm going to put the other silicon and sulfur in here for now. And let's grab this... Uh, at least two ears of corn. And salt those up. Love the salter. Absolutely love the salter. For this other meat, uh, or at least this meat, let's put that on the drying rack. And then I think the rest of it we're just going to put in here to spoil. Because we have plenty of it now. Looking good. Looking good in the neighborhood. Let's put this back in its slot. And that can actually go in there. I'm going to grab the bit of flour that we currently have and throw that in there and grab the tree sap. And we're going to make ourselves some health potions before we go out because we might as well. Always good to have that stuff on hand. Uh, how many can we make in total? 11. Let's make 10. OK, 
Cave? Yes, cave. Nice. Okay. Okay. This is going to be massive overkill. Oh, we got splash damage on that guy. Well, if we're getting two for the price of one, it's not... The overkill's not too bad. Uh, we didn't get the arrow back. You know what? Um, has there been an update since I played last? Because I'm no longer getting my explosive arrows back. Maybe... Maybe they listened to me complaining about that. And, well, I wasn't really complaining. I was just amazed <laughs> that we could get these back. But now that's not happening, which is really the way it should be. Even though that sucks for us. Um, that means I really shouldn't be using these. Um, so I'm going to... We're going to go back out and make just some basic stone arrows for now. But then I'll, I'll make some bone arrows later. Because, um, yeah, we need to keep these for when bears attack and mean stuff like that. Now we can take care of these mofos. Wait, where are you? Oh, there you are. Yeah, we got hit by a little bit of poison, but nothing too major. Okay, I guess that takes care of the worms. Uh, so the name of the game is Iron and Copper, but mostly Iron to start with. So, yeah. Let's get going with some Iron here. Okay, so uh, we got a bunch of iron and a little bit of copper mined up. I'm gonna head back to the base here, get that smelted so I can make an iron pick and a couple other iron tools so that we can preserve our Inaris pickaxe. I did find one node of platinum in there, so I grabbed that, but I'm gonna need to find another one so, th so that I can make a platinum pickaxe once we get the machining bench made. So until we do that, we're going to uh, try and avoid uh, or ver or minimize, anyways, using our Inaris pickaxe. Once we can get a platinum pickaxe made, then it doesn't really matter. We still keep it honest, though, anyways, because it allows us to run around even when we're encumbered. Okay, so let's put all this ore in here and let it start smelting. And I'm going to put those bones in there. Let's grab the flower out of here. We'll make a little more epoxy. Uh, oh, actually, hold on. Do I still have bones in here? Yeah, I want to actually make bone arrows instead of stone arrows. So we'll make what, however many we can make out of 100 bone there. So we're going to need fiber and sticks, I'm sure. Maybe leather for the bone arrows. Yeah, we need sticks for that. And I don't have any sticks. So let's go get some sticks. I suppose I could grab one of these stacks and make some flint arrows. They're going to be a little better than bone arrows. Why don't we do that? Because this will give us... St well, you know what? No, I'm going to wait on that. Wait till we get a little more... Iron, because we're going to need quite a few iron ingots to make, like, the anvil and some of the other stuff we got to do. Okay, so you guys can all go back in there. I'm going to put the stone... Well, we probably better keep the stone arrows with us as backup until we get a little more stuff. I'm going to put this in here. We've got our health tonics. Let's make one more health tonic. Um. Oh. Actually, no, never mind. Cancel that. Uh, clear Q. I think what we'll do now is we'll make some dough so we can make some bread. We need to take uh, this out of here, put it in here, and then mix up some dough. 
Okay, so let's see. While that is going on, um, cook up this carrot and have a little more salt. That can go in there. So I think we're just kind of at this point waiting for the ore to smelt so that we can make ourselves an anvil and then some iron tools. And then, of course, the next step after that will be to make the machine bench. Uh, so, guys, I think we're going to go ahead and wrap up the episode here. And uh, again, just as a reminder, I will be gone uh, all of next week on business. When I get back the week after, we will resume this series and keep having fun here in the vertigo mission and you know maybe um rocket works will have galileo out uh, by the time we get back and if they do uh we will probably start a whole new series um there, the only thing we really have left to do in this series is to build the barn but honestly if i don't get to that that's not really the end of the world as far as i'm concerned anyways so if Galileo does come out before I return, then I'm, we'll wrap up this series and we'll start a new series on Galileo. Okay? So thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and share the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.